Right, so hi there. Uh, this is my uh, mini lathe. It's a Waco branded one, but it's a Seg C3 lathe anyway. It's made by Seg. You can still see the uh, red paint down there. Uh, I think I'd advise go buying it from Seg because uh, it's a bit cheaper, to be honest. Uh, I've paid an extra hundred pounds for this because I was buying it from Waco. So, yeah. Mind you, this has got the uh, bigger motor in it. It's got a 500 watt motor. No, yeah, sorry, 550 watt motor. Yeah. So, and it's. I think it was slightly longer as well than the uh, Seg one. Between centers. I think this is 350 between centers. Um, yeah. 350 the um, seg one was only 300 but uh, the reason why I'm doing this video is about um, the accuracy of these things now uh, when I got this I just could not work out why it was not accurate and I'd sent emails to them they said oh it's got to be it needs to all be cleaned and uh, whatever so I stripped it all down cleaned it still having the same problem um, I used a dial indicator to check the uh, spindle accuracy. I uh, checked the accu accuracy in this axis, it was perfectly fine. I checked the run out in this um, axis as well, across the face plate, to check for run out, that was absolutely fine. And I just put it down to the actual um, chuck, which was this one here, which came with it, an 80mm chuck. I just put it down to the chuck, so I thought, okay, then I'll buy um, another chuck. So I went for the three jaw four inch chuck, and obviously that's got a face plate, which um, I had to make up. And yeah, I fitted it all on there. Uh, exactly the same issue. So. In the end I worked with it for quite a while and it was around about one millimeter out and I mean that's no good for doing anything accurate which is what I wanted it for because I wanted uh, wanted it for building um, uh, sm small models and stuff and uh, making bits for um, uh, small engines uh, and it just really w <laughs> it basically just sat here and just lately I've been messing around with it and what I come to learn was that the, um, the actual back plate or the face plate on here the recess what was on there which fits into the back of the chuck is ever so slightly too small so you've got slop side to side there's about probably one mil movement side to side movement and the only way to get rid of that is to put your chuck on there and then tighten the bolts up ever so slightly and then use a rubber mallet and go round hitting it basically and using the dial indicator at the same time until you get the uh, chuck directly um, centre on the back plate and then obviously uh, tighten down on your nuts but then there's also the problem is if you um, torque the nuts down um, not in um, in the uh, not in the proper way, then you're also going to have a lot of run out because the nuts basically need to be tightened at the same tightness. So you need to go round, tighten one nut, check on the dial indicator, and then do the other nut, check on the dial indicator until you've got the uh, run out down to a minimum. And I'm pretty happy with this at the moment. Because considering it was um, around about a millimetre out of um, true before, now I'm pretty happy with that. I can live with it. And now I've actually started to use the lathe, whereas before I wasn't using it, now I'm using it. I can actually make stuff on here. And the same goes for the original chuck. It was exactly the same problem on the 80mm chuck, what came with it. Um, so every time you take the chuck off and put it back on, you just need to um, set the chuck up each time. 
it's not a big issue once you've done it a few times you get used to it and I can usually get this on here and get it accurate within a couple of minutes now because once you've done it a few times you know what you're doing and uh, yeah so for people who say that these aren't accurate they are accurate it's just that they need setting up they need to be completely cleaned down headstock removed uh, all the grease which is in between them needs to be all cleaned out which is in between the headstock and the actual bed all your um, compound needs to be cleaned out and uh, then you'll have a good lathe and most importantly an accurate lathe also the tail stock was out slightly as well it wasn't dead centre so that needed to be adjusted uh, yep. Waco says that these are ready to go and need minimal cleaning uh, I wouldn't agree with that they need complete cleaning complete stripping and you do if you're a complete novice like I am and I mean I haven't used a lathe since I was at school and I've had no teaching on a lathe so that's quite that's quite hard when you start out and you f find that amount of inaccuracy and you just don't know what to do so you know I hope this helps somebody and uh, yeah thanks for watching uh, see you next time bye